right. Good evening, everybody. It is Wednesday, which means we are halfway through the work week. At least hopefully for most of you, we are. My real work doesn't begin until the weekend, so I'm not sure that it counts. Uh, weekend is my busiest time. So maybe some of you have that too. Let me put on do not disturb over here on my phone so that we don't get interrupted constantly. But anyway, hopefully for some of you, this is halfway through your work week and you're almost done. That would be nice. So you can look forward to Friday when I'll be back again. <laughs> oh, no, today is Friday. What's wrong with me? See, I lost my week. Great. We skipped ahead to Friday. Look at that. That fast forward button did work on my remote this week. See, when I don't help you, you can't keep Hi, Violet. Day. Yeah, Max is making fun of me for not knowing what day it was. I don't know why I'm thinking it's Wednesday, but when it I is not you, Wednesday. It is Friday. Friday. Wednesday. Which means I'm just going into my busiest time. <sighs> so what are you up to today, Violet? Hopefully somebody's doing something good. It's Friday night. I am resting. Today was a rest day. So um, we usually work on Friday mornings, and we didn't today. We have the girls, so we've been having, uh, am I going to call it fun? It's, it's kind of fun. It's funny. Uh, it's been work. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Ruth. Thank you both for sharing. I appreciate it. All right. Anyway, so regardless of what day it is, we have some beautiful bling to look at tonight. Doctor this morning, taking it easy now. Well, if you go to the doctor in the morning, you should be able to take it easy for the rest of the day. Tomorrow, I have a baby shower for one of my friends. Very unexpected baby shower for one of my friends. So that's going to be a lot of fun. She's having a little girl in August. So um, we'll be doing that. We'll be doing baby stuff tomorrow. That's always fun. So I've been working on a diaper cake for the last couple days. And I'm almost done with it. Hi, Mom. So we're just putting the finishing touches on the diaper cake and uh, got to pick up some of the uh, wontons and pot stickers tomorrow to go to the baby shower tomorrow afternoon. So that'll be fun. Baby showers are always fun, right? And wedding showers because you're getting together for a good reason. So I'm looking forward to that. So hopefully you have something good going this weekend. If you're coming in, let us know what it is. Share with us so that we can all be happy. <laughs> All right. Hi, Brenda. Good to see you. And by the way, if anybody is on Instagram and did not get a message before the show, please let me know because I tried to go through my list and make sure I caught everybody, but I'm not sure if I did. So, you know, there's always one or two that I forget. Oh, you're having CO visit. That's a great weekend. I always love that weekend, right? I look forward to the second talk on Sunday because it's the one that's different from everybody else's. So it's more just about your area's needs. And so that's the one I like. My favorite talk of the week. All right, let's go ahead and get started. These earrings that I am wearing are number one. These are post earring. I didn't want to call these a hoop because they're not really a hoop, but they are post earring that's dangly. These are silver flower outlines. They are called rustic rarity. You didn't send it to me, did you? No, I didn't. And I have three pairs of these. Hang on, and I'll send Max a link in just a second. These are number one. We have three pairs of those. So those are the ones that I'm wearing. I'm gonna send Max a link. He just got in. He was changing the brakes on the vehicle. That, that's his idea of fun for the weekend. <laughs> he actually said he's getting too old to do this. <laughs> he is out there on the ground changing the brakes. So time for all the young ones to step up and take over right let me also grab a link for the ladies on facebook in case they can't find it why is my page not acting right now what so it's always something something doesn't work right every single show it just changes what it is so let me grab that link and there we go and we can go on with the rest of our show Let's see. Hopefully nobody's having trouble getting in here now. We did have a while where Facebook had it kind of hidden where it was hard to find to get in. But as I said, they keep changing things. So hopefully they did better with changing things. <laughs> 
All right, our next one is a medium length necklace. This one's called Listen to Your Soul in Multi. So this is more of the boho vibe. We've got some natural stone. We've got some wood. We've got the, um, I don't know what you call this, string, I guess, over here. This is on the bottom of a teardrop pendant with bright silver beads. So we have all these little charms, the orange, white, and green stone, a little bit of yellow in there too. We have two of these. The earring are the little brown stones. And Max is trying to kill me with my own echo. This one is laying across the bust and then the charms are in the upper abdomen with the two inch extension that is going to bring that last charm down to about here which is still going to be just slightly below the um mid abdomen so not a long long necklace we do have two of these this is listen to your soul in multi you probably have to restart and it mm -hmm. is number two I'm doing that. Some days these computers don't act right and you just have to stop and restart them. We found that with Zoom, they act up a lot. Tranquil Trendsetter in purple. So this is a purple and gray necklace. Really cute shaped cutouts. So we have a little half circle here. We have our little rectangle over here. This is not quite a square, more of a trapezoid shape. And then we have our rounded beads as well or discs. We have opaque, we have frosted, we have the cloudy ones. The earrings are the little cylinder shaped purple. So I have two of this one also. This is a mid chest necklace. So with the two inch extension, that is gonna sit right above the bust. Tranquil's Trendsetter in purple. So this is a purple and gray combination. We have two of these. This is number three. Yep, my nose tickles already. Can you tell I've used the hand sanitizer? I swear I'm allergic to something in the hand sanitizer. It can't be the alcohol. It just can't be. Delightfully Daisy in yellow. So we have a daisy pattern in the silver. And they are dotted with the little yellow beads. Let's see if we can show that a little bit better. Or in a teardrop shape. This is the length and size. Nice bright yellow for summer. We have two pairs of these and they are number four. And number five, last pair of these. These are called, and I do not make up the names. I'm just going to say that before we even start. Can I get a hoop hoop in black? So this is the black metal, that off black. This is the size, so they're a little bit larger, but they are by no means my largest hoops. So we have, can I get a hoop hoop in black? One pair, number five. Hi, Aunt Dora. Good to see you. <clears throat> all right. <laughs> yeah, you can laugh at the names all you want, Brenda. We laugh at them all the time because they are just crazy. I don't know who in the marketing department makes up these names. I think they need a new job. That's what I think. All right. This one has six answers, this question. And we are going to take, well, let's take number five. Name one of the specific times when you usually look your worst. You know, they're always doing these plays on words. So instead of a whatever they would normally put, they put hoop. H-O-O-P because they're hoops. Morning was number one. Sick was number five, Shannon. Can you believe that was so far down? Name me three other times when I look worse than when I'm sick. <laughs> so Shannon, you got that one correct. Driver's license picture. They did not put that in there. After a bad night. Oh, that one wasn't in there. 
We've got morning. We've got when you're sick. What other time do you usually look your worst? After a party. Oh, that's an interesting answer. That one was not on there. And Shannon was thinking that too, when she's hung over. I mean, when you're hung over, not Shannon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Max is laughing over there, Shannon. <laughs> After exercising. Yeah. That one was number two, right after a first thing in the morning. Allergy season. I think they were considering that in with being sick, but I am with you, Violet. Mm -hmm. Not you. <laughs> Anybody on, uh, Brenda's on Instagram. What other times do you look your worst? We won't tell anyone, Shannon or Brenda. We won't tell anyone. Isn't it funny, though, how you can go in even to a meeting looking great and you come out and you look like you've been through a wind tunnel? I don't know how that happens. I'm like, I've been sitting here for two hours. There's literally nothing that should be messing up my makeup and my hair. But somehow I look like I've been in a cage match after a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> for special pictures yeah always they always catch the wrong angle somehow yeah. all right well we got the correct answer so let me tell you the other ones that they have after a shower that's a good answer too after the convention yeah but at least that's all day and we can kind of blame that on the all day thing but after two hours there's just there's really no excuse all right number three was when you've been asleep so any time of the day, not necessarily morning, but when you've been asleep. I know after I take a nap, my hair is like standing on end. Also first thing in the morning. And I just tell Max, I've been working on my hair all night. Doesn't it look great? It does not, by the way. Um, after cleaning the house. So different kind of workout. But uh, you get hot and sweaty. You've been cleaning the house. You definitely don't look good. And after work. So comparable to after the convention, but after a work day. Yes, yes, we have to take pictures when we first arrive or before we even leave home. <laughs> Gotta get those pictures in early. <laughs> All right. So just remember this for future reference, you wanna take those pictures at other times of the day. We have one pair of these, these are called Dallas Debutante. So we have a little white rhinestone horseshoe shape up at the top. And then we have the snake chain in gold coming down from those horseshoes. These are post earring and the post is right up here in the top of these earrings. I do just have one pair. These weren't exclusive. This is the length. So a long narrow earring. This one is number six, Dallas debutante in gold. Number seven. Number seven is Stone Age Adventurer in white. This is the black and white marbled beads mixed with the polished silver. It's a really pretty combination. The earrings are the polished silver beads, like in the necklace. I do have two of these. So this one sits just above that collar. Let me make it right. There we go. With the two inch extension, it's gonna go just underneath this collar. So this is one of our shorter necklaces. This is Stone Age Adventurer in white. And we have two of them. This one is number seven. Oh, and I did hear about our fashion fixes. Finally, they're coming in on Tuesday. So the holiday this week kind of messed everything up, threw everything a day behind. And then they probably were extra busy because we had a holiday. So um, we're getting them in on Tuesday. So Wednesday night, we will have our fashion fixes to show. I did post them on social media. So if you are able to see my social media pages, they are posted there for you to look at. This is Sandstone Savannahs in multi. We have the crackle stone in red and in that turquoise blue. This is a Y-shaped necklace, double teardrops at the bottom. 
The earrings are the blue crackle beads, turquoise crackle beads. <clears throat> this one, the Y sits just below the bust, about an inch below the bust. And our double teardrops sit just below mid abdomen. So it's right in here with the two inch extension, it is gonna be down around belly button level. So this one is sandstone savannas in multi, and it is going to be number eight tonight. Two of those as well. It's warm in here. All right, let's get out one of our lanyards. Here's a nice brass, no, not brass, sorry. I'm thinking antique, and I said brass. It's antique copper lanyard, multi layers. So we have four layers at the bottom. This is a long one. All our lanyards are long because of the need to, you know, swipe and use ID. So our top is hung up with double chains. Then we have the larger gauge chain right here in the center and then rounded chain and regular chain at the bottom along with this lanyard clasp. We do just have one of these. This one's called Mechanical Mayhem in copper. The earrings are tassels made from that rounded chain that's at the bottom. See how these links are circular. This is the length. So our lanyard clasp is down here. Past even the belly button with our two inch extension, actually gonna go down below the dropped waist. So this one is mechanical mayhem in the lanyard form in the antique copper. And we just have one of these. This one is number nine. Funny how when you say one thing, your mind is thinking something totally different. And it comes out of your mouth. All right, we have two of these. These are Vacation Glow in copper. This is a shiny copper frame with a white shell type piece inside. Let's see, I think we determined the top was a hexagon and the bottom, I believe it's an octagon. I don't have time to count sides right now. But this is the length and size. So our very pretty bright copper with that shell type material. These are called Vacation Glow in copper. And we have two pairs of these. They are number 10. All right, let's go ahead and do our next survey question. This one also has six answers. Let's do number four. Name an animal you can teach tricks. An animal that you can teach tricks. And I would say children, but they're not on the list. So just in case you were going to guess children, not on there. A bird. That was number five, Violet. Number five. Dogs, course number one. Monkey was number two. Whales. Whales weren't on there, but that's good. Dolphins. Yes, that was number four, Brenda. Dolphins were number four. SeaWorld shows us that, right? Cat was number three. There's only one left. You're probably going to have to go to the big top to see it. Not a seal, but that's a good guess. What? That's Taylor's over here trying to guess. I know. Taylor always tries to guess on my questions. Taylor, are you giving away the answers? I didn't hear what she said. What? Not an elephant. What? Not an elephant. A fox. What? A bug. Taylor says her guess is a bug. That is not the answer, but good guess, Taylor. I have seen that some do teach bugs tricks or they teach them to race a lion yes that was the other one shannon lion so who won it? brenda says say it louder taylor so who won it? shannon did shannon, okay again he's cheating i know shannon has the answer key tonight that's what it is 
I don't know where she got it, but because I don't even have it. I'm kidding. I know the answers <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> Is your mom telling you the, you the answer, Shannon? That's what Max wants to know. All right. These earrings are called a natural charmer in silver. Rather than trying to name off all these charms, let me just take a minute and show them to you. Silver refers to the center of a couple of these charms, have a little silver stone in them. We also have leaves. We have some beads. We have some little flowers. This is the length and size. And we have two pairs of these. So a natural charmer in silver. We have two pairs of these. This is number 11. Oh, my nose tickles. What is it about today that makes my nose tickle? It's the hand sanitizer. All right, this one is Palm Promenade in silver. So we have a palm leaf at the bottom of this extended chain, along with some silver disc beads and a tassel at the bottom. Our earrings, also the tassel to match that bottom. I have two of these. This is the length. So our palm leaf right here in the middle of the abdomen. Our tassel goes down to belly button level, almost to that dropped waist. And then with a two inch extension, it is gonna be right here, just barely below that dropped waist. So we have palm promenade. And this is in silver. I also have one of these in antique copper, just in case you like the antique copper better. I have one in the antique copper. This is number 12. Number 13. I have these earrings personally in another color, but these are glimmering gardens in pink. Everybody loves these. They're like a cartoon flower, right? Because of the bright pink in the back and then the silver outline, your ear actually goes in between or it can hang down just below depending on the shape of your ear. These two pieces, because this is um, bent out forward. This is a post earring and our post is right up here in the top. I have two pairs of these. This is Glimmering Gardens in pink. And they are going to be number 13. Number 13. Number 14. Number 14 is Viva La Vacation in bright yellow. And that's what I'm saying. Viva La Vacation. Brenda would like a number 13. We got that. These are marquee shaped beads in clusters of three. So one bigger one in the middle, one on each side. The earrings, also the marquee shaped yellow beads. This is the length. So sitting right there at and below the collar, mostly below the collar. Turn her just a little bit. There we go. With the two inch extension that is gonna sit down to center chest, right about there. This one is Viva La Vacation. We have two of these available, and this is going to be number 14. And let's see, number 15. What is number 15? Number 15 is going to be our chunky heart. This is called Forbidden Love in silver. Pink flower earrings. Mommy wants the pink flower earrings. Let her have them. Number 13. Number 13, yep. Big puffy heart at the bottom. These are okay. held on by little. You have two of them. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. Little hooks, and then we have the bright polished silver beads here at the bottom. This is gray leather cord. Earrings are the silver beads. This is the length. So sitting right here, down just below mid abdomen. So mid abdomen would be right about here where the hooks are. And then our puffy hearts in the bottom with the two inch extension going to come down here to belly button area and just above that dropped waist. 
So I also have two of these. Forbidden Love in silver. This one is number 15. All right. Another question. Let's see if anybody can get these. I think I'm going to go with number four on this one. There are six answers. We're going to go with number four. Name a romantic movie people like to rent. A romantic movie that people like to rent. I will tell you, none of these are super new. The vow. Vow was not on here. That was good, though. Titanic. That's on here. That's number two. Oh, the notebook. They missed an opportunity with that one. They didn't get that one on here. The notebook's very popular. They probably asked men, which is why none of these are new. Who else? Or what else? Sleepless in Seattle. That was number one. Sleepless in Seattle was number one. What other romantic movie do you rent? Or somebody else rents? Your husband rents. <laughs> which one is he going to rent if he goes? He's like, I've heard about this in somebody's. You've got mail. Not you've got mail. Oh, Love Story's not in there either. That was a great book. I've never seen the movie, but I read the book and it was awesome. Hi, Delphina. We have four more. A romantic movie that people like to rent. Some of these are pretty old. Just to give you kind of a hint, there are definitely classic movies. Knights and Rodanth. That one is not on there. I did read that book too. No Romeo and Juliet, Max. Taming of the Shrew, then. <laughs> oh, that's rude. He says the Taming of the Shrew. He has not gotten extra points for that one. <laughs> the notebook. Notebook's already been guessed, and it was not on here, but that's a good one. Anything Nicholas Sparks, right? Casablanca. That was number four. You got it, Delfina. Casablanca was on here. So you got to think back a little bit. We've got another really old one. And it was a huge book. It was about this thick. And I read it. I can't even tell you how many times. Very, very long book. Also a very long movie, by the way. <laughs> Have seen the movie on that one. I had to rent it from the library because nobody else had it. Very long. Gone with the wind. You got it. Oh, good. Your husband knows his movies, Delfina. See, I told you the husband's rented them. <laughs> all right, I'll give you the last two so that we're not here all night. An Officer and a Gentleman was number three. And Pretty Woman was number six. John waved at me. Hi, John. We'll wave back. You can't see Max waving. But he's over there. All right, next up, we have Bewitching Beating in orange. So these are cute little orange flowers. Is that a yellow or white center? It's hard to tell in this light. Very, very light center. And then we have the baby blue beads. So these are all seed beads. It's a shorter length necklace. And our stack of orange beads is are the earrings. He said hi to you, Max. So Hello. you can at least say hi. He can hear you. Hello. Hello, John. All right. There we go. So this one's down around the collarbones with the two-inch extension. That is going to sit right about collar level here. So right about there. This one we have two of, I believe. Nope, three. Be bewitching Beating in orange. Again, I take no responsibility for these names. Not me. I didn't do it. This is number 16. 
Number 17, we have the triple hoops, the triple tiny hoops. These are the, I believe they're the half inch hoops, the larger ones of the tiny hoops. And they are tripled, so three in one hoops. They're called triple down in silver. This is the length. I always use these in my second hole. Not everybody does, but I use them that way. So I have two more pairs of these, triple down. And silver is number 17. Number 18, a longer necklace. We have a woodwork in progress. So this is a wood and orange colored pendant, kind of an abstract pendant. Leprechaun and Gone in 60 Seconds are romantic movies. Do not let him rent you a romantic movie, Violet. If he says, let's rent a movie to watch together, tell him no. The earrings are the silver tassels. This is the length of this pendant. So it is, again, right, let's see, mid-abdomen would be right about here where the top bar is. And then the rest of the pendant falls below that with the two inch extension down around the belly button and approaching that dropped waist. So we have two of these. This is called a woodwork in progress in orange. And it is number 18. Number 19, I like these enough that I finally had to keep a pair for myself. So I have one pair left of these. These are called Charismatically Curvy in pink. So we have kind of a crescent moon, silver frame, and then we have pink acrylic with glitter in it. Does it remind you of 80s earrings? This is the size. So about the same size as the flowers that I have on. These are Charismatically Curvy in pink and they are going to be number 19 this is my last pair and number 20 we have three of these this is treasure tees in silver these are hammered texture silver rings interlocking inside each other so we have smaller ones and larger ones the earrings also the silver rings this is the length. So sitting right there about at that collar level, a little bit above, a little bit below with the two inch extension, not quite reaching center test, but really, really close. So right about there. This is treasure tees in silver and it is number 20. All right, let's do five more. We're gonna do one last question since I didn't warn you. So this next one's kind of got to tie in with what we were talking about a little bit in this last question. This one also has six answers. We're gonna go with number three. Name a really long movie. Really long movie. First movie I've ever seen was really long. None of these are musicals. Really long movie. Titanic was number one. Oh, yeah, that three hours plus. Gone with the Wind. You got it, Violet. That was number three. That one was really long, too. I don't even remember how long it was. It was so long. Lonesome Dove. That one did not make the list. Series. Max says that was a series. That didn't count as a movie. <laughs> oh, boy. Really, really long movies. What else do you know? Some of these I haven't seen. I've only heard about it. You have that one, Violet? How long is it? Do you know? I'm thinking it's like six hours altogether. But I can't remember. Max says the Ten Commandments. That one is not on there. 
It should have been because it was really long too. Uh, never ending story. That one also not on there. We did get the important ones. So in just a second, I will give you the rest of the answers. There is another one that's not exactly a Western, but is a similar type of movie, similar style. And this guy was just in the news because of how he broke the news to his kids that he and his wife were getting a divorce. 238 minutes. Okay, so that's about four hours. Thank you for looking, Violet. I appreciate it. Wizard of Oz. Not the Wizard of Oz. Okay, Lord of the Rings. I've heard about this one. Have not seen that. But I've heard that super long. That was number two. Harry Potter was number four. I don't know which one of the Harry Potters. They're probably all long. Haven't seen those either. King Kong. Another one I haven't seen. It's number five. And number six, Dances with Wolves. Dances with Wolves. Kevin Costner recently made the news because he told his kids over a Zoom call that he was divorcing their mom. So people are, people are being kind of hard on him this week. Don't know that that was the appropriate thing to do, but, you know, to each his own. The last one of Harry Potter was two discs. Okay, so it probably was long. All right, next up, we'll get off the hard questions. Next up, we have number 21. I have one pair of these left. These are called Dreamy Dewdrops in orange. So these are kind of a coral orange. We have dewy beads and also a more translucent bead. These are on a triple circle. These are all one piece, so they're not going to move around. This is the length and size. So we have Dreamy Dewdrops in orange. Number 21. Number 22. Number 22 is Artisanal Aesthetic in blue. This is also my last pair of these. These are the natural wood espresso colored wood and discs in the blue crackle joined by a silver ring or on a fish hook back this is the length and size so these are going to be number 22 my last pair of these artisanal aesthetic in blue number 23 Number 23 is Daring Diva in pink. This has a pink, pearly, or metallic bead. I don't know which one you want to call it. They both look similar to me. Three layers of the round circular chain at the bottom. Earrings, also those circular pieces. We have three of these. Length is center of chest. With the two-inch extension, it's going to sit right above the bust. So right about here. This one is Daring Diva in pink, and it is number 23. Twenty-four is going to be another lanyard I only have one of. This is another lanyard. This one is called City Circuit in silver. City circuit. So we have oversized oval links ending in the little lanyard clasp at the bottom. Earrings, also the oval shaped links in silver. This is held up by double chains. This is the size. So we also have an oversized lanyard clasp. It is down here at that dropped waist. So this is probably my longest lanyard. With the two inch extension, it's going to go even further into that lower belly area. Just have one of these. This one is City Circuit in silver. 
and it is number 24. Number 25 is a multi-strand choker. So two regular strands, one strand with black and butterscotch colored beads, little stacks of them. And then our earrings are the same stack of the black and butterscotch beads. This is called Bountifully Beaded in black. We have two of these. It has extra extension because it is a choker. So first layer is gonna lay around the base of the neck like that, or the first, the tightest closure is gonna sit around the base of the neck. With the extra extension, it is gonna sit somewhere right around the collar of this top. So we have bountifully beaded for our last piece tonight. This is in black and we have two of them. This is number 25. All right, so we will be back on Sunday. Sunday we will do one and done. So everything will be the last piece of its kind that I have. I'm gonna show you all the stuff that you're missing over there on the side. It's not behind me, it's over there on the side so you can't see it. So we'll do that. And um, number 13, um, she wants to know, can she see number 13 again? Yep, we'll, we'll pull it out. For you and that's the one your mom got too. Okay. Glimmering Gardens in pink. They're the flowers, double layer flowers. This is the size. All right, because I'll be at a baby shower tomorrow, um, not sure exactly when I'm going to get invoices out, but I will figure it out. Yeah, I'll send you a picture of that, Violet. I forgot to send you a picture of the ones the other day, too. Um, but you will get your invoices by Sunday before the show. So sometime this week, you will get um, your invoice, or this weekend, sorry. You will get the invoice and... Um, one and done's on Sunday. Fashion fixes on Wednesday. That's what I was trying to remember. Fashion fixes on Wednesday. Hi, Sharon. So that will be the end of it. Hopefully you'll join us again Sunday evening at 7 o'clock. I'll be right back here in same place, same time. Same bat channel. Same bat channel. Max says the same bat channel. Same bat channel. Same bat place. Same Different bat jewelry. Channel. That's the important part, right? Different jewelry. All right, you guys have a fun weekend and we'll see you all on Sunday. Good night.